Breaking news. While the former host of American Pickers is still healing from a stroke he had last year, his conservator has submitted a new financial plan. After suffering a devastating stroke in July 2022, which allegedly affected his decision-making capacity, Frank, who is 59 years old, was placed under conservatorship. Exclusively for the U.S. Sun, Midwestone Bank, who is overseeing Frank's finances, submitted an inventory report and an amended initial financial management plan on June 27. Frank is a famous celebrity, thus Midwestone Bank wanted to keep his whereabouts and inventory of his real property and monetary assets secret. The conservator's request to seal the financial data was approved by the court on the case. The request follows the filing of a notice of delinquency for conservatorships on June 2, following the failure to file the inventory report by the due date. The following is stated in the court documents. 1. A report will be made to the presiding judge. 2. The fiduciaries will be subject to removal if the same is not filed within 60-60 days from the date hereof. 3. A report will be sent to the judicial branch administrator and chief judge of the judicial district. 4. A report will be sent to the Committee on Professional Ethics and Conduct, which could lead to disciplinary action. In October 2022, Midwestone Bank disclosed Frank's monthly outlays in an initial plan. The plan estimates that Frank's monthly expenses total $28,292, with $22,832 going for in-home health care. The star is projected to spend $273,984 per year alone on health care. Additional costs include $1,250 for groceries, $850 for health insurance premiums, $500 for gas, $250 for apparel, and more. From his assets, Frank earns a meager $60,000 per year. However, as stated in the court documents, Frank was given a strategy by Midwestone Bank to increase his wealth. Assets will be invested to start generating income for Mr. Fritz. Is what the court documents read. The conservator intends to leave them largely as they are now, rather than take an inventory of Frank's numerous antiques and treasures. In order to integrate Mr. Fritz into management decisions as he continues to recover, the conservator and guardian will collaborate. Frank will have access to a bank account that has a modest sum for his own usage. Work to apply for disability income for the protected person, should he be eligible, is another duty of the conservator. The bank's response to the question of how long the conservatorship is projected to endure was unknown. Prior to his stroke, Frank did not have a job. A statement from the records obtained by the U.S. Sun reads, Mr. Fritz is unable to care for his own safety or to provide for necessities such as food, shelter, clothing, or medical care, which is necessary to prevent physical injury or illness, because his decision-making capacity is so impaired due to his stroke. When it comes to his own money, Mr. Fritz can't make, express, or implement crucial decisions because of his severely impaired decision-making capacity. The court documents cited a medical expert's testimony as evidence that Frank lacks the mental ability to make decisions. Decisions regarding Mr. Fritz's care and placement during his ongoing recovery and treatment for his injuries must be made, according to the legal documents. Protecting him from imminent danger requires the appointment of a conservator and guardian. The petitioner has asked for Frank's separate long-standing friend to serve as his guardian. This friend has been helping Frank make decisions ever since the stroke. The caretaker will assist Frank in his ongoing physical therapy and treatment for Crohn's disease. In addition to assisting with cooking, grocery shopping, and transportation, he will also accompany the former American Picker star to whatever activities he desires. Upon returning home from rehabilitation, Frank encountered difficulties with his health. Frank was taken to the hospital after the U.S. Son got four 911 calls made from the residents. After Frank had a seizure on November 17, his caretaker contacted emergency services. He just came home from inpatient rehab for a stroke, she informed the operator. He may have experienced multiple seizures, all of which were severe. He has been trembling. She got switched to medical and then asked the operator if she could do anything to assist him. Another caretaker contacted emergency services due to a patient's high blood pressure on December 7. I have a 59-year-old stroke victim with elevated blood pressure, she stated during the call, as she whispered.
You have to go because your blood pressure is too high. Frank's moans could be made out in the distance.